My brother priest, subdeacons, dear friends, happy feast day of Saint Elias, especially to all the people named after him. Elias was the greatest prophet in the Old Testament, and at the time of transfiguration of Jesus, we see him from one side, summary of all the prophets, and Moses on the other side of Jesus. And because Elijah capitalizes the courage and the zeal he had for the Lord himself. In the first reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans, we see Elijah lamenting. It's like telling God, I am left alone. And, you know, and then seeking my life is like there is some fear because he was furious and he was f defending the faith that the Lord and the mission that the Lord entrusted to him. And really typically to say, to emphasize that the mission of God was not restricted to, to the Jews, but was also to everyone else. In the gospel, we see Jesus in his hometown of Nazareth and saying that after quoting, I am the Messiah, I'm, this scripture has been fulfilled. He's telling them no prophet is honored in his own hometown. And what does Elijah stand for and what does it mean and who is he? Elijah was a prophet who lived 10th, 9th century before Christ. He was born around 927 and died around 850 before Christ. He was prophet, but we call it the kingdom of the north because the Jews at that time were divided. We need to understand the kings were by inheritance. The minute you're born into that family, you are a king. The priests, you are a priest because you're part of the tribe of, tribe of Levi. But you're a prophet by special calling. God will call you, will choose you to be a prophet. And the prophet was, has a task to announce the word of God and really warn the the king and the priest and all the people to walk the way of the Lord. What mainly characterized Elijah's mission, his confrontation with King Ahab and his wife Jezebel, because they were introducing different gods than the God of Israel. And the first commandment, I am the Lord your God of the covenant of the, there shall no other God besides me. They were bringing the God of the Phoenician and other God. They became mixing the Lord, you know, the God of the true God with other gods as well. And here Elijah stood defending firm in threatening and, and confronting the king. You cannot do that. He threatened them. He said there will be no rain for three and a half years after he prayed. And after that, he prayed again. And there is a lot of rain. But the main confrontation was Elijah with the sword because there was, he told them, get all the priests of Baal and let them see if the, the Lord then consumes their offering. And nothing happened. And here he comes. We put some water and everything on Mount Carmel. And it was burned after God answered his prayer. And at that time they said, the priests of Baal were massacred and Ahab and Jezebel wanted to kill Elijah. That's why he ran away from them and listening and working and he heard the Lord, the message of God, the voice of God in breeze, gentle breeze of air. What does Elijah and the prophet Elias teach us? First the name Elijah means the Lord, my God is Yahweh. He is my God. I am firm. I am firm. I am telling it already my name designate who is my God. But two things we learn from Elijah in a specific way. His courage. He was never compromising for the truth. He stood for what the truth is all about, defending his, his face, his firm face in God himself. And nothing could stop him from that. The second thing, his zeal for the Lord. His zeal, he, he, he said, the zeal for your Lord eats me up. You know, we say sometimes, it eats me up with problems, difficulties. For Elijah, was his, his zeal for the Lord was eating him up. He wanted to do exactly 
what God has called him to do and invited him to do. You and I today, how often we say we believe in God, but sometimes often we bring so many attention to different gods. We put a lot of emphasis in other gods as well. We compromise the truth. We, we cannot stand firm like Elijah did. I hope through the motivation and the example of Elijah, we could stay firm in declaring the face of God. And at the end, they say, Elijah is still alive because they didn't see him uh, dying. They didn't have his body. He disappeared in the chariot of fire. That's why we have fireworks during Elijah feast day, because chariot of fire and Elisha took over the mission that the Lord has entrusted to him as well. I hope my brothers and sisters, all of us will be inspired by Elijah to defend the Lord himself, our faith, and stand for what's right and proper in our own life. And always in order to do that, like Elijah withdrew into the desert to pray, that we will withdraw sometimes into time of prayer, time of private, of connection with the Lord himself. Ahabai min ayyid Eid Marilis. Eid Marilis andu ibadi shabiyi bi Lebanon and Syria in all the countries of the لأنه بالمثلث المفهوم اليهودي كان الملك بالمجتمعات الغير اليهود الملك يعبد لكن وقت سمح الرب بيقول الكتاب المقدس بالعهد القديم انه يصير عنده الملك على شرط واحد انه الملك لا يعبد الله هو الذي يعبد لكن كان الملوك بين حسب العير من البي للابن للابن للحفيد من هون صار في عندنا كاهن اللي هو مجرد انه هو من صبت لاوي عن ملك وعندنا النبي اللي كان الله يختاره يمثل كلمة الحقيقية من هون كان دايما النبي هو يقول شو الغلط وينبه الناس انه يمشوا على طريق الرب من هون اللي مار الياس حياته والنبي الياس هو بصراع بناو خاص مع الملك احاب ومرته ايزابيل من هون بي بي انه غيرته غيرته للرب حتى يدافع عن الايمان الحقيقي بكلمه الكلمه بمعنى قديش يوم قديش يمكن مار الياس ولناس على نسق مار الياس بيعرفوا يوقفوا كل شخص بيمشي غلط حتى ما كان قد ما تكون سلطته الدنيويه عاليه وكبيره وصغيره ما بهم بدنا الانسان يعرف يمشي على الطريق المستقيم بكلمه الكلمه من معنى وبحاجه نحن انه نعرف نقول الحق بكل ما للكل نعيش الحق بحياتنا ونعرف نقوله ويكون فعلا تعبير عن حياه صادقه لانه الرب موجود فينا بكل ما لكل من معنى بيقولوا ما الياس الحي ما الياس الحي بمعنى لانه كان يعتبروا انه هو بده يجي يحضر للمسيح المسيح بيقول انه اجا ما الياس عم يعني عن يوحنا لكن حقيقي بحياته ب بفضايله ماريليس وان شاء الله نحن على مثال ماريليس نعيش هالقوة من الرب ونبلغ الرسالة اللي الله طلبها منا انه نعيش مسيحية بكلمة لكلمة من معنى ونكون دايما على اتصال وقرب من الرب بك امين كل عيد وانتم بألف خير